Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Sai Process. In today's video, we will look into the updates of Odoo 18. So we're gonna discuss about the RFQ management from email or portal in Odoo 18. Odoo 18 offers a robust RFQ management system that can be integrated with email or portal. Uh, functionality is in streamlining the procurement process. So the first step is that we just need to create an RFQ for that we can just dive into the purchase module. And you can directly create the RFQ by clicking on the new button where you can set the relevant details such as the name of the vendor. I'm going to set my vendor as Abigail Peterson and later on you can also set the details such as uh, uh, the product. Um, and I'll be choosing a product premiere which is customizable test where you can set the quantity as well as price. So I'm going to choose multiple products. So if you want to add multiple products, you can either go to the catalog and add or you can uh, simply uh, add it by choosing clicking on add a product so I'll be choosing multiple products over here and here you can see we have just given the prices of the product and yeah now let's save this so we can automatically send RFQs to the, to the vendors using the email including all the necessary details and attachments and uh, um, uh, this would monitor the status of the RFQ, including whether the vendors have responded or negotiated uh, or the orders have been placed or not. So you can uh, uh, just choose send by email uh, so that the email be sent uh, to the vendor and we can just monitor all the communication between the user and the vendor. And um, uh, the vendor receives the response directly in the Odoo inbox where, the, where you can view and manage them efficiently and you can also maintain a record of email communication related to the RFQ ensuring more transparency and um, accountability. So as you just drag down this here you can see that we can just uh, manage all these uh, uh, records from the chatter. So as um, uh, the vendor want to respond so we can just go to the portal of the vendor and here you can just click on accept so as you just click on accept here you can see that the quotation has been accepted and we can just move on with further process so if any further communications are taking place that can be viewed from there so i'll be setting uh, the communication of here and here you can see you can just choose uh, ok and uh, that's it response and here you can find uh, the details or uh, the mail or uh, everything and later on um, you can just go back uh, or you can um, also just uh, cancel this or accept uh, this RFQ okay and uh, later on if we move on to the um, RFQ that we are uh, dealing uh, by us and that is the one that we were dealing and let's back to the yeah edit mode and uh, we can confirm the order right now so let me just click on confirm uh, the order and here you can see we have just confirmed the purchase order and now we just need to receive the item into our stock so for that you can choose the validate button so that the item will be um, kept in our uh, um, yeah location so first we have to assign a lotto serial number for this so I'm gonna set a number over here so let's say SN001 and you can just click on save and if you want to view um, the number you can also add the serial number field from here that is it, it can be either a serial number or a load number so uh, let me save this and uh, later on you can just click on validate so that you can see we have just assigned a lot of serial number over here and that's all how we just manage with the um, yeah RFQ from the email or portal in Odoo 80. And thank you for watching the video.